Hi, I'm Tom Kmechik. Welcome you to the first episode of vlog related to automation in a business. I'm going to tell you about automation, how to use automation, everything what's related to automation. This is why I do strongly recommend you to subscribe to my channel. Before we start, message from me. This channel is for teams, for organizations, for UVP and people who are interested in generally speaking, automation. Working with people all over the world, meeting with them on a daily basis, talking to them during the businesses, video conferences, they usually ask me what automation is. There is a kind of fear about AI, automation, robotization sometimes called. So that's why on this vlog, I will be using very straightforward and understandable language. I am the entrepreneur myself, and I just want to talk to you about automation. I just want to pinpoint a couple of things, how beneficial automation for your organization might be. I will be talking about cost reduction, effectiveness of your organization and so on. But before we go there, well, let's start with the word of RPA. RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. There is a large number of different descriptions of RPA which you can find in Wikipedia and in the internet. To me, the easiest explanation of RPA is that if you have a lot of repetitive work to be done in your company, in your organization, uh, that work can be easily replaced by virtual machines, virtual robots. As we know, human resources are capable to put us down. People, first of all, they cost money, they get sick, um, employees, they are late, and so on. There's a lot of issues around uh, employing people in, the, in, in organizations. So when it comes to uh, employing virtual machines, or not maybe employing, just using virtual machines, robots, I mean, you don't have this kind of issues at all. That's why uh, RPA revolutionized the industry. Okay, guys, so now you are probably on the other side of the screen looking at me and just thinking, okay, the guy is talking nonsense. He's just talking about uh, automation and uh, uh, and he's talking a little bit about uh, people, yes? That people will be uh, replaced by uh, virtual machines. Um, realistically, this is what is happening at the moment. We, we have to be, uh, we have to know and we have to understand that this is kind of a revolution which is happening and which started a few years ago and is needed for every single company. If you are a business owner or if you're working for, for, a, for any organization, you have to, you will have to use RPA sooner or later. And every single company, whether it's a large, big organization, if it's medium-sized organization, organization, or if it's a smaller business, is capable to use robots. We have to use robots. Okay, so just imagine, while I'm recording this for you, your employees, some of them, they might be uh, actually on its way to your work, to your office. Some of them, they might be sleeping. Some of them, they might have gone for lunch. Some of them, they might, get, they might not be, they might be actually browsing uh, Facebook and other social media. That means they do not work at all, yes? Um, so just imagine that um, how much time and um, energy you just lose in your organization, to be honest. And uh, in comparison with robots, with uh, we call this like virtual um, machines, virtual employees, just imagine those small guys, th those, those small robots, they work 24 hours a day, 365 days uh, a year. They work constantly. What it means, they give you an effectiveness to your company. They give you, they, they can um, easily scale up your organization. They can give a great uh, leverage to grow your business. I'm the entrepreneur myself. And uh, let's put it that way. If you want your organization, whether you are a business owner or you are a, a manager or director, a CEO of the company, if you want that company to, to scale, sooner or later you will have to uh, use RPA. Uh, because this is something what I already told uh, before, this is something is needed for your company. I mean, uh, statistics, they say that RPA increases your uh, effectiveness of your company between 25 to 40%. And this is uh, true. 
And this is something what is a, it might be kind of a challenge for you to understand this at the moment. Yeah. How am I supposed to automate some processes in my company? But it's, it's simple. Talking to many, many business uh, owners. Uh, again, I mean, I've been in this business for the past five years. And many times I've been asked, okay, at this what stage uh, am I supposed to implement automation? And I usually answer to, to those guys that if you see that, that there is an increase of your employees in your organization, that's the one of the indication that is something incorrect in your organization. Why? Because that job, that task, these tasks can be done easily by robots. So what I'm trying to say is like, if you think about implementation of automation in your organization, do this right now. Do not wait. Do not waste your energy on employees, on recruitment, on the process of meeting with people and so on. Just think about the processes. Think that from the perspective that you have uh, a simple things to be done in your uh, organization uh, and uh, there are no people actually needed for that. The other question which I'm usually asked, okay, so how am I supposed to measure the automation, whether it's needed in my company or not? I usually say there are many different ways how you can look into automation versus to your existing employees, yes? Um, one of them, it might be the cost of um, the process which is done by your employees. If you see that this process is taking more and more time and energy uh, of your employees, it might be a worth to, to check only the, the, the fracture of the process and just try to assess how much that process actually costs you or your, or, or your company or organization. And then you can just um, take that cost against the cost of automation and see whether the automation will not be much cheaper than the cost of um, this uh, process done by, by people. Okay, uh, to me, there is another very gentle subject um, about automation, what automation actually does to your organization, yes? How it, it not only helps, because in, in terms of the helping, in terms of the numbers, I've got some uh, stats with me. Uh, RPA, as a generally speaking, it gives you this 40% uh, in saving cost of labor, um, it, um, it gives you five times boosting efficiency, increases your quality of your work. Obviously, uh, if, it is, if it's done by robots, there is no human errors. Um, and uh, the, I think the, the, the most important uh, at the moment is also the speed of delivery of your, of your work and your process and so on. As mentioned at the beginning, the gentle thing about implementing uh, robots in your organizations is like, it's about people actually, about your employees. If you employ, if you employ virtual assistants, if you, you employ virtual robots, uh, then it's like you take those robots out of your employees, out of, out of humans. Yes. So I think this is the most, um, the most uh, important uh, to me actually uh, in a business that uh, thanks to that, that I can reduce uh, overall uh, a number of tasks to my, uh, which, which are um, physically done by my people uh, and replace this with, uh, with robots, uh, then uh, my, my people, they get this uh, satisfaction. They can concentrate on things which actually matter in the company. They can just start using their brains. They, they have this, uh, this flow working with uh, something what is interesting, not only copying and uh, pasting some data from one place to the other one. So this is the, the most important actually to, to me. And I can see that more and more organizations, they have this kind of attitude. Some of the companies, they ask me about the purpose of RPA. Um, because I like stories that will be, I will be trying to be very short with that story. Uh, we went to uh, London, uh, that was August 2018. Uh, we uh, had this meeting with uh, guys, uh, with the company which is responsible for water in London. And they, uh, they, they, they ask us about the quote for the system to build a, a, a system for them, uh, which will be like uh, linking or just getting data from the old system to new system, yeah? So they had a lot of different quotes from different IT companies. They were like in millions of British pounds. Um, and the, the, the problem was that they, they, they had to get this data from the old system, the, the, the system, the old system was like legacy, uh, really 
uh, old system because that that uh, that computer was. Um, I mean, the, the system was the Windows 1995, yes? And they, they just wanted to have this data from the system to new system, to, 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 to new CRM or whatever they had. What we did is like, we, we proposed them uh, to use our technology, giant technology, giant software, uh, which costed them uh, a fraction of what other IT companies uh, offered to them. And we did it very quickly to them as well. So what I'm trying to say is that if you have a large organization and you have a lot of different systems, uh, different uh, CRMs, etc., et the use of RPA, the use of automation is the best solution to you uh, because it costs you a fraction. So uh, it's like the RPA, the, the, the automation is like the kind of um, missing puzzles between old legacy system and new system. Yeah, So you have this puzzle which you can use and link to those two systems. You don't have to build or rebuild a new system. You just can't, you don't have to do this from scratch and pay a lot of, a lot of money. Every single company, whether it's large, small, medium, uh, even a, a small and micro company, they can use automation. And this is uh, what is the brilliant about RPA. Okay, so what uh, automation um, brings you to your company? Um, from our perspective from our experience is like in many uh, companies which we had an opportunity to implement robots uh, I would say that uh, we standardized um, processes in this company uh, I mean you would be very surprised that many large organizations they have this kind of um, internal problem internal problem with the communication between employees uh, tons of different processes uh, uh, we sometimes we joke that, uh, that we, if we go to this uh, large organization that we can see the paper flying uh, uh, in, in open space, yes, because people, they do not know what to do with this paper. So when we, when we start doing automation, we standardize all these processes. Uh, that means that uh, all of a sudden people, they start realizing, okay, what the process looks like. And uh, above all, it gives uh, a big value to the company because the company can handle bigger volume of customers um, selling products because they do not uh, concentrate on internal problems, internal documentation. They do concentrate on the value for on, on what brings them uh, money. What else automation brings to your organization? Let's put it that way. Would you be happy to go every single day, work from eight? a.m. to 5 p.m. and see unhappy people in your company? Would you be efficient at your work seeing a very unhappy people? I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to work like that. So uh, again, I've already told this satisfaction. Satisfaction is one of the, uh, I think the biggest factor uh, of RPA because uh, the satisfaction increases uh, when automation is implemented in the company. Satisfaction, not only that we just want to make people to be happy again, it's not, uh, it's not like that. Um, uh, it's about that these people, they can concentrate on more important tasks, uh, but above all, they do not feel like uh, robots anymore. Since you know a little bit more about RPA, about automation, and uh, I hope that you are a little bit persuaded by me uh, to use uh, automation or just to reconsider um, uh, to, 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 or just explore the idea of automation in your organization, uh, the question would be, how am I going to start automation in my, my, my company? The easiest way to explain that is like to get um, a piece of paper, yes, to get a, a notebook or notes, or there is a lot of plenty uh, different uh, tools like mind maps, uh, which are available for free. Uh, and just start um, start with design of that process, which f you think is a crucial in your company, uh, crucial in terms of the number of repetitiveness and crucial in terms of the money, uh, crucial in terms of um, um, errors, which are might, might, might be done by your um, colleagues, your, your employees. So um, just spend a little bit time and do some um, scenario that's do some, um, uh, the, the, the scheme of your, of your process and you will see how many people are involved in this process and, and so on. So start from that. If you have this, you can uh, easily start 
exploring different uh, RPA companies. I'm not saying about that you have to come back, come, come to us, to Giant. Obviously, we do quotes very quickly. Okay, so that was my first vlog for you uh, uh, about automation, and there will be a lot of more. So um, I've just been kindly reminded by my colleagues, thank you very much indeed over there, uh, who are recording me, and uh, thank you for, for giving me that opportunity that I haven't asked you to subscribe uh, to this channel. So if you are interested about RPA, um, generally speaking, about new technology, about AI, please do come uh, to this channel more frequently as I'm gonna record more and more the things which you are interested. Thank you, Ranchi Did.